In my most recent water heater video, I installed an expansion tank and even though it is pre-charged, it was called out to me in the comments that it has to be adjusted to the home's water pressure. First thing I'm gonna do is measure my water pressure at this outside hose bib. This is after the meter and it's gonna be the average water pressure of the water throughout the home. Next, I'm gonna isolate the water to the expansion tank so I can drain it. I'm gonna open this faucet so I can drain the water out of the expansion tank. I'm going to set my water heater to VAC because I don't want it coming on while I do this. At the bottom of the expansion tank, or in this case, the top, there is a plastic blue cover that can be twisted off. Left is loosened. Up here, we can see that there is a valve core or a Schrader valve, kind of similar to the one on your bike or car tires. I've got a digital gauge and a compressor. I'm gonna hook this up to the expansion tank. We can see that the expansion tank is only at 38 PSI. The home pressure was at 58, so I'm just gonna add air until it's at 58. Now that my pressure is set, I can go ahead and remove that. And you could use a bike pump to do this. You don't have to use a compressor. It's just easier with a digital gauge because you can see in real time what your pressure is. I still got my kitchen faucet open. Now I'm just gonna turn on the water back to the water heater. Turn my water heater back on. I'm going to turn my faucet off. Expansion tank water pressure is set. You should do this once a year. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dave. See you on the next one.